Episode 2 of CMA Part 1 Question Bank Wiley Financial Statement Please follow the channel to receive all episodes. Question 16 Selected financial information for Christina Company for the year just ended is shown below. Assuming the indirect method is used, Christina's cash flow from operating activities for the year is A. $1,700,000 B. $2,400,000 C. $2,000,000 D. $3,100,000 The answer is A. $1,700,000 Net income $2 million plus depreciation $400,000 minus increase in accounts Receivable $300,000 plus decrease in inventory $100,000 plus increase in accounts Payable $200,000 minus gain on sale of securities seven hundred zero zero equals $1,700,000 cash flow from operating activities Question 17 all of the following are elements of an income statement except a. Gains and losses b. Shareholders' equity c. Expenses d. Revenue The answer is b. Shareholders' equity Shareholders' equity does not appear on an income statement. It appears on the balance sheet. Revenue, expenses, gains and losses all appear on an income statement. Question 18. While approving the financial statements for the current year, the management accountant of Rachel Groups discovered that sales were overstated. Which of the following is the most likely reason for the overstatement? A. Sales returns recorded are more than actual returns. B. Abnormal losses are not accounted for. C. General sales tax collected from customers was not accounted for. D. The last in, first out method is used for valuation of inventory. The answer is C. General sales tax collected from customers was not accounted for. Usually sales tax is included in the selling price of a product. The sales account should be adjusted for the amount of sales tax collected, and it should be recorded as a liability. Question 19 Carlson Company has the following payments recorded for the current period. The total amount of the above items to be shown in the Operating Activities section of Carlson's cash flow statement should be A. $150,000 B. $250,000 C. $750,000 D. $350,000 the answer is B. $250,000. Interest paid on bank loans are considered an operating activity. Operating cash flows include interest and dividends received and interest and income taxes paid as well as normal operating inflows and outflows. Dividends paid are a financial activities. Purchase of equipment is an investing activity. Question 20. Which of the following is a reason why a company provides prior year's financial information along with the current year's information? A. Doing this helps the users of financial statements in measuring the reliability of information provided in the financial statements. B. Doing this allows management accountants to determine the trend in an increase in resource requirement for future periods. C. Doing this allows analysts to easily compare past performance to present performance and determine its future success. D. This form of presentation of financial statements helps in prioritizing one type of revenue or gain over another to avoid classification problems. The answer is C. Doing this allows analysts to easily compare past performance to present performance and determine its future success. Most entities provide prior year's financial statement information alongside the current year's information for comparison as this allows analysts to easily compare past performance to present performance and make a determination of future success. Question 21. The following information is extracted from the financial statements of Brent Page. Assuming the company follows U.S. GAAP, calculate the cash flow from operating activities. A. 
$32,900 billion. $10,100 C. $28,600 D. $22,100. The answer is D. $22,100. The correct answer is $22,100. CFO equals net income plus depreciation minus increase in current assets plus increase in current liabilities equals $25,000 plus $2,000 minus $5,400 plus $500 equals $22,100. Question 22. Employing different accounting methods will yield different net incomes. How is this factor a limitation of financial statements? A choice between cash-based accounting and accrual accounting for financial reporting allows companies to smooth earnings for a longer period. b. The flexibility of employing different methods for presentation of financial statements can lead to an accurate disclosure of information. c. Change in net income due to change in accounting methods affects the determination of future performance of a company. d. Difference in results due to change in accounting methods makes it difficult for users to compare the performance of different entities. The answer is D. Difference in results due to change in accounting methods makes it difficult for users to compare the performance of different entities. Employing different accounting methods will yield different net incomes. Each choice of two or more accounting methods will further change the results reported making the task of comparing different entities very difficult, even when these methods are disclosed. Question 23. The statement of shareholders' equity shows a a. Reconciliation of the beginning and ending balances in the retained earnings account. b. Reconciliation of the beginning and ending balances in shareholders' equity accounts. c. Computation of the number of shares outstanding used for earnings per share calculations. D. Listing of all shareholders' equity accounts and their corresponding dollar amounts. The answer is B. Reconciliation of the beginning and ending balances in shareholders' equity accounts. The purpose of the statement of shareholders' equity is to reconcile the beginning and ending balances in shareholders' equity accounts. Question 24. For the fiscal year just ended, Doran Electronics had the following results. Doran's net cash flow from operating activities is A. $1,018,000 B. $928,000 C. $986,000 D. $1,074,000 The answer is a. $1,018,000. The net cash flow from operating activities is calculated as net income plus depreciation expense plus increase in accounts payable minus increase in accounts receivable plus increase in deferred income tax liability or $920,000 plus $110,000 plus $45,000 minus $73,000 plus $16,000 equals $1,018,000. Question 25. All of the following are classifications on the statement of cash flows except A. Investing activities B. Equity activities C. Operating activities D. Financing activities The answer is B. Equity activities The classifications on the statement of cash flows are operating activities investing activities and financing activities. Question 26. When a fixed asset is sold for less than book value, which one of the following will decrease? A. Current ratio dot. B. Total current assets. C. Net working capital. D. Net profit. The answer is D. Net profit. When a fixed asset is sold for less than book value, a loss occurs decreasing net profit. Question 27. Kelly Company acquired land by assuming a mortgage for the full acquisition cost. This transaction should be disclosed on Kelly's statement of cash flows as a n a 
Operating Activity B. Non-cash financing and investing activity. C. Financing activity. D. Investing activity. The answer is B. Non-cash financing and investing activity. Acquiring a mortgage would require a non-cash financing disclosure on the statement of cash flows. The land itself is an investment and would be accounted for as an investing activity. Question 28. The cash flow from operations for Charlene Energy Incorporated is $25,000 for the current year. If the amortization expense increases by $5,000 and other factors remain same, under which of the following assumptions will the cash flow from operations remain unaffected? A. A change in amortization method will not have a retrospective effect. B. The company has an infinite life. C. The company is operating in a tax-free environment. D. The company can change the depreciation method during a financial year. The answer is C. The company is operating in a tax-free environment. Cash inflow from amortization arises because of the tax shield. In a tax-free environment, a change in amortization will not affect the cash flows from operations. Question 29. Larry Mitchell, Bailey Company's controller, is gathering data for the statement of cash flows for the most recent year-end. Mitchell is planning to use the direct method to prepare this statement and has made the following list of cash inflows for the period. Collections of $100,000 for goods sold to customers. Securities purchased for investment purposes with an original cost of $100,000 sold. $4.125,000. Proceeds from the issuance of additional company stock totaling $10,000. The correct amount to be shown as cash inflows from operating activities is a. $225,000 B. $135,000 C. $100,000 D. $235,000 The answer is C. $100,000 When using the direct method, collections of $100,000 for goods sold to customers would be classified as an operating activity. The cash sale of securities is an investing activity. The issuance of stock for cash is a financing activity. Question 30. The multi-step income statement, with additional income statement items, for Harrington Technologies Incorporated is given below. Glenn Hamilton, a financial analyst, analyzed the company's financial statements and concluded that the real net income should be $683,200 instead of $630,000. Which of the following arguments is most likely to support his conclusion? A. $53,200 due from a client was written off as irrecoverable after the finalization of accounts for the current period. B. The company valued its inventory using the specific identification method, whereas the financial analyst used the last in, first out, LIFO, method for the current period. C. The company might have liquidated its LIFO reserve. D. The company has included expenses in relation to discontinued operations as part of income from continued operations. The answer is D. The company has included expenses in relation to discontinued. Revenue and expenses from discontinued operations do not form part of income from continued operations. In this case, the analyst has excluded discontinued operations since it is a non-recurring item. Question 31. Why is it important for a financial analyst to scrutinize footnotes? A. Footnotes provide vital information about a company's liquidity position trend in revenue from different demographic regions, and changes in capital structure. b. Footnotes provide significant information about non-cash investing and financing activities, such as the issuing of stock for fixed assets. c. Footnotes detail the executive compensation details and shareholders' voting procedures and information. d. 
Footnotes provide significant information about mergers and acquisitions a company is targeting in the current year. The answer is B. Footnotes provide significant information about non-cash investing and financing activities, such as the issuing of stock for fixed assets. The statement of cash flows requires footnote disclosure of any significant non-cash investing and financing activities, such as the issuing of stock for fixed assets or the conversion of debt to equity. Question 32. Rita Williams and Sasha Ortiz recently joined Fluff Financials, a fund management company. They are assigned to value the stock of Probe Systems. Rita's estimate of assets and liabilities is higher than Sasha's estimate. Which of the following will most likely undermine Rita's estimation? A. The company has no operating lease. B. The company has purchased a high amount inventory on credit. C. The company has an off-balance sheet transaction. D. The company has no debt. The answer is A. The company has no operating lease. Some transactions, like operating leases, can be recorded in a way that avoids reporting liabilities and assets on the balance sheet. Here, Rita might have discovered the use of the operating lease by probe systems and hence value probes' assets and liabilities higher. Question 33. Three years ago, James' company purchased stock in Zebra Incorporated at a cost of $100,000. This stock was sold for $150,000 during the current fiscal year. The result of this transaction should be shown in the Investing Activities section of James' Statement of Cash Flows as A. $50,000 B. $100,000 C. $150,000 D. Zero The answer is C. $150,000 the amount shown as the investing section would be the amount the stock was sold for during the current fiscal year. Question 34. Barber Company has recorded the following payments for the current period. The amount to be shown in the financing activities section of Barber's cash flows statement should be A. $600,000 B. $500,000 C. $300,000 D. $900,000. The answer is A. $600,000. Both dividends paid to Barber shareholders and the repurchase of Barber Company stock are financing activities. Financing activities include long term debt and equity cash transactions. Interest paid is included in operating cash flows. Question 35. The sale of available for sale securities should be accounted for on the statement of cash flows as a n a investing activity b financing activity dot c non cash investing and financing activity d operating activity the answer is a investing activity Cash flows from the investment in or disposal of available for sale securities will be accounted for in the statement of cash flows as an investing activity. Question 36. The management accountant of Catherine Software decided to alter the financial statements due to an event. Which of the following is the most likely reason for her decision? A. The event provides evidence about a loss of expected income due to inefficient collection efforts. B. The company has decided to shift the company's headquarters to a country that follows IFRS in the next year. C. The event provides additional evidence about conditions that existed as of the balance sheet date and alters the estimates used. D. There is a sharp decline in the stock price. The answer is C. The event provides additional evidence about conditions that existed as of the balance sheet date and alters the estimates used. If a subsequent event provides additional evidence about conditions that existed as of the balance sheet date and alters the estimates used in preparing the financial statements, then the financial statements should be adjusted. Question 37. The presentation of the major classes of operating cash receipts, such as receipts from customers, 
less the major classes of operating cash disbursements, such as cash paid for merchandise, is best described as the a. Indirect method of calculating net cash provided or used by operating activities. b. Cash method of determining income in conformity with generally accepted accounting principles. c. Direct method of calculating net cash provided or used by operating activities. d. Format of the statement of cash flows. The answer is c. Direct method of calculating net cash provided or used by operating activities. The direct method of calculating net cash provided or used by operating activities presents the major classes of operating cash receipts, such as receipts from customers, less the major classes of operating cash disbursements, such as cash paid for merchandise. Question 38. A statement of cash flows prepared using the indirect method would have cash activities listed in which one of the following orders? A. Operating, investing, financing. B. Investing, financing, operating. C. Financing, investing, operating. D. Operating, financing, investing. The answer is A. Operating, investing, financing. A statement of cash flows prepared using the indirect method would have cash activities listed first as operating, next as investing, and third as financing. Question 39. The management of Arthur Energy recognized a contingent liability of $50,000 in the current year. However, before the annual report was issued, the company resolved the issue, making a lump sum payment of $42,000. The Board of Directors has decided to incorporate the transaction in the subsequent year's financial statements. Which of the following provisions of U.S. GAAP, if applicable, is likely to prove the management decision wrong? A. Loss contingencies must be recognized when it is probable that a loss has been incurred and the amount of the loss is reasonably estimable. B. Whenever GAAP or industry-specific regulations allow a choice between two or more accounting methods, the method selected should be disclosed. c. If an event alters the estimates used in preparing the financial statements, then the financial statements should be adjusted. d. If an event provides additional evidence about conditions that existed as of the balance sheet date and alters the estimates used, then the financial statements should be adjusted. The answer is D. If an event provides additional evidence about conditions that existed as of the balance sheet date and alters the estimates used, then the financial statements should be adjusted. In this case, the amount of contingent liability needs to be revised, as the estimate of the amount of liability has changed. The subsequent event provides evidence regarding conditions present on the balance sheet date. Therefore, the financial statements need to be adjusted. Question 40. The following information is extracted from the financial statements of Foster Machines. The cash flows from operations were calculated to be $23,500. Assuming that the company follows U.S. GAAP. Which of the following is a potential error in the calculation of cash flow from operations? A. Dividend income and interest income were added back to net income to calculate cash flows from operations. B. Redemption of bonds was included in cash flow from operations. C. Increase in accounts receivable was added to net income whereas it should have been deducted. D. Depreciation on equipment was not added back to net income for calculating cash flows from operations. The answer is A. Dividend income and interest income were added back to net income to calculate cash flows from operations. As per U.S. GAAP, dividend income and interest income are included in the calculation of net income. Hence, dividend income and interest income, being operating activities, should not be added back to net income. Question 41. Which one of the following would result in a decrease to cash flow in the indirect method of preparing a statement of cash flows? A. Decrease in income taxes payable. B. Proceeds from the issuance of common stock. C. Amortization expense. D. 
decrease in inventories? The answer is A. Decrease in income taxes payable. When using the indirect method, a decrease to cash flow would occur when a business pays off its liabilities. Therefore, a decrease in income taxes payable would result in a decrease to cash when using the indirect method. Question 42. As per U.S. GAAP, extraordinary items are a. Material items that are both unusual in nature and infrequent in occurrence. b. Material items that are either unusual in nature and infrequent in occurrence. c. Material items that are both unusual in nature and frequent in occurrence. d. Material events with an uncertain outcome dependent on the occurrence or non-occurrence of one or more future events. The answer is a. Material items that are both unusual in nature and infrequent in occurrence. Extraordinary items are material items that are both unusual in nature and infrequent in occurrence. Question 43. Following is an extract from the statement of shareholders' equity of Joyce Gregory Incorporated prepared by the finance manager. The company's CFO did not approve the financial statements. Which of the following, if true, will support the CEO's decision? A. Net income should not be classified under retained earnings. B. Issuance of common stock should be part of retained earnings. C. Other comprehensive income will not be included as part of shareholders' equity. D. Cash flow from operations is not included in the calculation of shareholders' equity. The answer is C. Other comprehensive income will not be included as part of shareholders' equity. Firms have the option of presenting the calculation of comprehensive income either as part of an income statement or as a separate statement of comprehensive income. Comprehensive income can no longer be presented as a part of the statement of shareholders' equity. Question 44. Stanford Company leased some special purpose equipment from Vincent Incorporated under a long term lease that was treated as an operating lease by Stanford. After the financial statements for the year had been issued, it was discovered that the lease should have been treated as a capital lease by Stanford. All of the following measures relating to Stanford would be affected by this discovery except the source, retired ICMA CMA exam questions. A. Accounts receivable turnover. B. Net income percentage. C. Debt equity ratio. D. Fixed asset turnover. The answer is A. Accounts receivable turnover. The accounts receivable turnover is sales divided by the average accounts receivable balance. The classification of a lease would not affect either sales or accounts receivable. Question 45. The cash flows and net income from four business segments for Taylor Laboratories Incorporated have been provided. Based on the information, which segment should be discontinued by the company? A. Segment 3. Because cash used in operations is high and cash inflow is predominantly from investing activities. B. Segment 1. Because net income is lowest and requires high investments. C. Segment 4. Because net income and cash inflow from operations are low. D. Segment 2. Because cash used in operations is low and cash flow from investing activities is not properly utilized. The answer is A. Segment 3. Because cash used in operations is high and cash inflow is predominantly from investing activities. Segment 3 should be discontinued because the major portion of the segment's income could be from the sale of its assets.